Welcome back from the break. I'm Alex Clow here to catch you up on all the sports news from the weekend. What a football game on Saturday. Colorado State took on Boise State at 8 at night at home and sadly lost 59-52 in overtime. This game was a state pride game where the Rams showcased their new Colorado flag uniforms. The Rams looked to beat the Boise State Broncos for the first time ever and they sure came close but not close enough. Boise State is currently the leader of the Mountain West. Senior quarterback Nick Stevens threw his 65th career touchdown pass, which makes him the new school record holder for touchdown passes. He just surpassed Garrett Grayson, who had 64 touchdown passes. He finished the night with 309 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Dalen Dawkins had a great running game. He rushed for 161 yards and two touchdowns. He had a career high of 32 carries. Michael Gallup, who is the nation leading receiver, went for 102 yards and a touchdown on 11 receptions. Now on the defensive side, Josh Watson led the team with 11 tackles, and Evan Colorado had 11 tackles, one sack, and two tackles for loss. Safety Jordan Fogle had an interception. It was a tough loss for sure, but the team has just one more final game of the season against San Jose State at 1.30 in the afternoon at the new stadium. The Colorado State men's basketball team opened up their season last weekend with a game against Sacramento State. CSU won 72-61. to CSU found themselves trailing 35-34 to in the first half, but this sparked a 9-0 scoring run following a driving layup from J.D. Page. Junior guard Prentice Nixon led the team with 16 points. Page had 15 points and Deion James had 10 points and 8 rebounds. Forward Justin Strings led Sacramento State. He had 19 points and 11 rebounds. Following the game, Coach Eustachy said, so our team is very young and you could see it. You could see it with all, with our, with all of our body language. Tip-off just took place at Moby Arena against Winthrop, who is the defending Big South Conference champion. Follow the CTV 11 YouTube page because I'll have sport updates on that game later tonight. The Colorado State women's basketball team could not have asked for a bigger win than what they had last night. The CSU Rams beat the Gonzaga Bulldogs 65-49. This was one of those games that people did not expect CSU to win, considering Gonzaga won the West Coast Conference last season, and they also went on to the first round of the NCAA Tournament. Gonzaga took, quickly took a 20-9 lead in the first quarter, but after that, they struggled making shots. CSU's biggest advantage was the fact that they shot 44% from the arc, opposed to the Bulldogs, who only shot 8.3%. CSU had five players that scored in the double digits. Both Sophie Tegidson and Lord Devos had 12 points, and Steen Oskalin had 11 points. Annie Brady was a key player for the Rams because she brought 11 points and 15 rebounds to the table in just 19 minutes of play. After the game, Coach Williams said, that was a great win against Gonzaga, a Gonzaga team that probably isn't going to lose too many games this year. The team plays again this Thursday against Eastern New Mexico at 7. Sadly, the Colorado State volleyball team ended their 15-game winning streak on Saturday against San Jose State. The team won the first and third sets of the match, but San Jose's defense was able to put a stop to CSU. Brianna Reynolds led the team with 15 kills, Kirsty Hillier added 13, and Paulina Hogard jensen added 11. A big issue for CSU on Saturday was their serving. There were 14 service errors, and the Spartans were also able to get eight aces in the match. The volleyball team takes on Fresno State tomorrow at 7 at Moby Arena for the final conference match of the season. For more sport updates throughout the week, be sure to follow the CTV 11 YouTube page. And don't go away because Kira Coles is, your is up next with entertainment with an inside look at what students have planned for this fall break.